Hi there, hope you're watching our videos and having fun. Okay, and not just having fun, but also learn because it's about learning also. Okay, I we have come today to give you some other actions, but before we do that, let's quickly remind our first timers to always do subscribe, hit the bell, leave your comment, and then make sure you watch the video to the end. Do not forget that. Then for our esteem subscribers, we say thank you and keep watching and keep following us we are so grateful to you all and um, today we are going to do something very spectacular something that is uh, a kind of um, controversial but you're going to see the actions how possible it can uh, be affected okay we are going to see how you can free yourself when you are pinned down by the neck on the ground your, your neck you're pinned down, locked by the neck, while on the ground, and you can stay on the ground and then still escape from that lock. Okay, let's go straight to the action. All right, now I am down. Then watch how we are going to make this happen. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now from here, this is one aspect, one part of it. There are other different ways to, but. We are starting here first. If you listen to my voice now, it's kind of cracking. That's to show that there's a lock. Okay, now, pause. All right, remember I told us something about anything that is coming towards your neck region, what you should do first. And what is that? The first thing you have to do is to hold your breath. So which means you have to learn how to hold your breath at will. That will help you not to be choked. Otherwise, when you are choked, you'll be confused. You will not know what to do. And once you're confused, everything about you is equally confused. You don't know what action to take. Okay, now? All right. Now, what I just did there now is to seize my breath. Okay, now watch the next point of action after that. <clears throat> You see that? Bam there. Bam there. Bam there. And it's done. All right. Now, how is that possible? Okay. Let's explain how it is possible. All right. Now he locks up again. See where my hand is. Okay. Don't lock it tightly so that I can explain. All right. So it's just there. Now my hand is here, and good enough, his hands has left space in between here. And I also find a way to find a space within here, and comfortably, I can pass my hand through here. And once I can pass my hand through here, it is now possible for me to take that action. Now I take it with force. hands were tight or this there's no space now I struggle to put my hand through there's no way for me to put my hand through now I try I try there's no way now you can see that that aspect or that particular action is defeated but that should not be the end you should look for another way to eat there must be a way to eat okay now lock up again I try the different action now I tried the other way the way or the, the possibility for me to penetrate because once you are able to penetrate your hand yeah you know that you are succeeded to take the action when you try your hand can't penetrate you know there's no way for that then you have to find another way and that other way is what I have just done then let's take that again watch this Ooh. Light so that I can speak. Okay, now from here, he's I'm, I will allow him to lock better, but let me explain a bit. Now, I could not this way. Now, I notice here. Now, I use my elbow and I strike, I bring the hand closer again and I take a forceful strike here. Boom! 
And once I did that, boom, the next thing was pa. And that is it. All right, watch it. Lock tightly now. simple as that okay all right we're taking it in chains the first one we did it and um, we tried it the next time and the way was closed and it gave birth to the second one now let's see the second one let's assume it for this now let's see how you can also apply another way because then you must find a way okay let's go okay now Look at what has happened here, all right? Ease off a bit, okay? Now we are going to find another way. Try the first one, succeeded. Try the second one, succeeded. Now let's, let's find another way. Assuming the first two, there is no way to accomplish it. Now there should be another way. Now watch this. See that you can follow up then if you want to follow up and do all that you want to do okay now how is that possible let's see how it is possible let's go back to now all right from here okay let's turn around so that you watch you see exactly what this hand is doing okay Hope you can have a better view from this angle because the basic point now is from this hand, right? It's tight now, so I won't be speaking anymore. I see that? Then you rush up, Pah! You see that? It is as possible. This hand and the twist. Let's take it slow. Like I said, there are some things that is you can successfully achieve it when with speed. speed. But when you slow it down, you find it difficult. Okay? Now let's go again. Watch this. I find my way in there. And I close in here, lock here almost around the elbow now the next thing I, tr I pretend i try to shift my body a bit and then turn swiftly mm. oh. I see that that turning clamps see you notice see what happens that turning means there's an effect it does to the elbow because of the turning and the locking of the elbow and the force that goes with it Probably, if, if that was applied slowly, it might not be effective. But it's the, swift and the, the swiftness and the force that goes with it that cause that effect. And once that shock comes there, and you, the throw here is gone already. All right? Okay, now let's take one last one. Okay, now, okay. now let's get back to here. All right, you can see the reaction, so you understand that when you are taking it, please. I always keep give this instruction, this warning. Please try it, learn it swiftly, no softly rather. Be light on it, otherwise you get your opponent injured. Okay, except when you are taking the real action, then you you can do it the way it should be. All right. Now let's see the next one. Okay, the first, the second, the third wasn't possible. Now, let's see this one. From there, I seize my breath. Oh. See here? It's at your mercy. Oh. Pua. Pua. Anything you want to do. See that? Looking at him down there, willing. Except you want to finish him, but already he's already gone. Okay, now 
look at how possible that came to be how that happened how it happened to be now watch this the lock it comes again now i try to grab him there to be fed and the next thing is yes, See that? I just take it slowly. I strike behind and I hold. Alright? Now with the full force, that's what throws him up. But like I said, you have to be careful, otherwise that fall could brush, brush your face or brush any part of the body. So that's why I said, whatever you do, please, as we're showing it, we're trying to be mild. Understand that that we're trying to be mild. But the real action, you've seen it how it goes. But when you're learning it, be mild so that you don't get your opponent injured. Otherwise, you have to learn. You have to use somebody to learn. But when you get the person injured, know that you will not learn. All right? Okay? Now, this is how it goes again. Lock up. Try as much as possible. Once you grab them, you know that, yes, you are halfway done. Then the next thing, position your leg. Then lift it and strike. Shoo! All right. You see that? Okay, then you are up and you do whatever you want to do. Okay, all right. Maybe we are going to pause here for today. We'll come your way another time with another action. Stay tuned, watch the videos to the end, drop your comment, and um, also for our first timers, always remember hit the bell, subscribe leave your comments and we'll be here for you another day stay tuned until we come your way next time bye for now